Welcome to this Anobis training and demonstration video. Today we are going to show how to create an integration from scratch. We do already have a mapping we wish to use, created previously in Anobis development system. First, we either right click on integrations in the tree, or we press the new integration button on the toolbar. That will bring up a new integration dialog. Next, we give the integration a name. An integration consists of an input adapter, which brings data in, an optional conversion, which transforms the data, and an output adapter, which sends the data out, or simply send it to another integration. As there are currently no adapters to choose from, we need to create one. We could leave this dialog and create one with the left tree, but we can also create one from within the integration dialog. Right click on the empty in adapter tree and choose new FTP adapter. That brings up the FTP adapter dialog, where we are going to create a very simple FTP adapter. While we give it a name, I want to point out that this adapter can only be scheduled. That means it will run at an interval of our choosing and collect files. Other adapters can be event driven, which means they're running all the time, ready to react immediately. As you see at the bottom of this panel, we are told about any problems we have. We have to uh, choose an FTP address and click a schedule. First, we switch to the FTP tab and type in an FTP site address. Then we switch to the schedule tab and pick, uh, pick one of the schedules we already have. Now, as you see, our problems have all gone, so we can press OK. Similarly, we create a conversion from the integration dialog. Right click on the conversion tree and pick New. Then we give the conversion a name and select the mapping we made in VS at a previous time. Press OK and we come back to the integration dialog. Lastly, we add an output adapter in the same way we made an input adapter, but in this case we are going to make an HTTP client output adapter. Here we give the adapter a name, we're going to leave it as an event driven adapter, and we need to give it a web address that we're going to be pushing the data to. And we can press OK to go back to the integration dialog. Now we have all three pieces available for the integration, we tell the integration to use them by double clicking on them in their trees. Note as we do this, the selected item text above the trees changing to reflect our choices. Now we've put all the pieces in place and selected them, we just press OK to accept this integration. If we expand the in adapter tree, as it already is, we can see our in adapter, integration and output adapter in a tree. If we start the integration only, we see the symbol next to the integration further up change to a pale green. That tells us that the integration is started, but one or both adapters are not running. If we start the adapters as well, the symbol changes to a vibrant rich green instead. Thanks for watching our video, and please check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, reached at www.youtube.com slash Mr. Inobis. That's www.youtube.com slash M-R-I-N-O-B-I-Z. Thank you, and good day.